Hey everyone, so we'll be here. And today we are doing a Sorga deck profile. Um, for starters, we're doing Dream Nimbling, which is I'm picking the theme. If you don't like the aesthetic, you can go with something else. Now we have Ranker Chain. Ranker Chain basically starts, um, you know, filling up our drop zone with the orders. So basically, you can Soul Blast one, you can draw two cards, and then choose up to one order card from your hand, and you can discard it. Now you will need this card for a bunch of situations. For example, Alka Magic. If you want Alka Magic later on, you will put. Um, some orders in a drop zone that you can do it later on um if you don't discard you can choose two cards and from your hand you can discard them now we have grade two which is Huss dragon amazing right target but also amazing rear guard target you can revive it gets plus 5k absolutely great card like this card is so good i was running some uh or something else not on the right deck but like in my main deck I'm, I'm gonna go through it but yeah no this but i switch back to it it feels way better um Basically the skill is for the right deck you can play some Vanguard Circle and you can get a um, order back to your hand. Which is if you would like to have some orders back to your hand, pretty good. If you feel like you messed up, <laughs> you can get your orders back. Now we have Zorga. Zorga allows you to counter blast one and have something from a drop zone to the rear guard circle. Now it also allows you to do al alchemy magic. So basically how it works, you will play an order and then you can bind an order from a drop zone and then you will pay the cost of the order that you played and then you will pay the cost for the order that you're doing alka magic with or you're binding and then you will resolve the effects as same in the same order so whatever you played first and then whatever you did alka magic with so yeah oh sorry whatever you bound in just in easy language <laughs> now for our main deck we have Three Zorgas, um, great card of course, we just went over it, you can do out something else like the Dalka Magic. Um, in this deck I'm gonna go through units and then I'm gonna go through orders and then I'm gonna go through the triggers. Yeah. And now I'm having, I'm playing three of the Hush Dragons. Uh, I used to play the other um, grade two, the girl that allows you to counter blast one, soul blast one to revive something, but then I realized I have a Zorga for that, it's, it's way more enough, I have other orders for that, it's way more enough. This card, however, it's a really good beat stick and it gets plus 5k. And you can also like power it up with like other orders can plus 10k. It gets very big. So I love that thing. Um, then I'm playing four of this girl. I saw this. Now she allows you to just do your spiritual body content for free. Like you don't have to pay any um, soul blast for this. You can just retire this unit and then you can just, if you want to pay something, you just like, you know, not pay the soul. Um, yeah. And then it allows you, see also allows you to start milling your deck. Um, you can discard three cards from the top of the deck. It's not as relevant yet, but as the game progresses, more support comes out. It will be way, way better. Now I'm playing four of the MVP, Mantis. Now, sure, it's a power up, but it's not the only card that's uh, sure. Some people say it's carrying the deck or carrying the clan or the nation, whatever. Yes, it's two to an extent, but there are also like other cards like House Dragon, so plus 5k from the plus 5k from himself. And if you play Silver Sword Condensation, it also gets plus 5k. So that's how you get beefy columns, and that's how you get really good um, numbers. But yeah, amazing card, not denying there. And now we have four of our PGs. Now, nothing to say if you don't have more than two cards you don't have to like this kind of thing so great card for that now for orders i would say the best order <laughs> um you can just counter blast one give three things to plus 10k you can combine with something else for example if you 10k this guy gets plus 5k on so on if you play an order it gets plus 5k yeah so this deck gets really big and attacks your opponent for 30k 40k something like that it's pretty good now i hate this order with passion i really don't like this order it's hit or miss uh, like sometimes you like checked off four and everything is just order sometimes you just check the cards everything is just triggers or orders or something like that if you want to cut it go ahead but in some situation it can be useful sometimes you can get lucky but i normally just discard it for your right chains like i don't use that order this order that much because i've tried it not a good experience with it but yeah, I don't like that order whatsoever. You can replace it, like I'm, I'm playing three ghost chase, but if you don't like this order that much, you can just go four ghost chase and one of this order as well. 
Now this one, amazing order. Like I would say go play four and just cut that one down to like just one. Um, Ghost Chase will allow you to bounce something back to your hand and get something plus 5k. Amazing card. If you need a, if you need a perfect guard, you call a revival perfect guard and take it back. Revival Zorga, you can take it back for the next turn. You can do a lot of stuff. That you can just start preparing for your opponent's next turn, which is a really good thing. Now I'm playing four of spiritual body compensation. Soul Blast one to revive something in plus 5k. You will revive a Hush Dragon. Uh, it got plus 5k from himself because you played an order. From him, plus 5k in order. And then if you play other order, which is Grief, Destroy, and Rejection, you get plus 10k as well. So plus 10k in total. And if you are if you are doing the um, uh, Persona Ride, plus 10k. So plus 30k on its own is pretty, it's pretty nuts. Now one over trigger, pretty standard. Uh, this over trigger is pretty good. You can do everything with it. Like you can draw a card. You can, you know, plus 10k to all of your um, front row. Then if your damage zone has equal or more, you can heal one. Yeah, so it's pretty good. Now three fronts. I believe in fronts in this deck because draw, I don't think so it's necessary. Fronts are really good because if you're attacking, if you check a front trigger, it's pretty much game over. It's very, very deadly. Now I'm playing eight crits. This art. Now I'm not gonna lie, the crits looks way better than SP. Zorga looks way better than SP. So if you can get it, lucky you. And then four heals. Yeah, no, this deck is pretty good. I like it. I enjoy it right now. Um, even though it's the very beginning of it, it's still pretty good, and I'm really enjoying it. But yeah, let me know in the comments how do you guys like this deck. If you guys want me to change something, if you guys have different opinions about the order, let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.